Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokana here, and finally, the stupid cell banner is here so we can finally Doken awaken our Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Alright guys, so let's just jump into it real quick. Um, we are going to be going over the banner card, the cell banner card on top of all the other Doken Awakenings that come along with it, with this new event. So um, I'm not going to be going over the old ones. I haven't done that before, but I don't feel like it doesn't need to be done, at least at this point in time. There are three cards at Doken Awaken, one that comes from the event, the intelligence, and the technique cells. I feel like those don't need to be gone over. If you want me to, let me know in the comments below. I'll go over those Doken Awakenings. But specifically, I am going to be going over the five Doken Awaken cards that are currently available. The Banner Card Cell, the Super Saiyan 2, the two androids, and the Banner Pull Tech Cell. So let's just go ahead and jump in into it. The first one we're going to talk about is the Time Traversing Evil uh, Technique Cell First Form. Now this one is available from Pulse. He's an SR or a super rare. He has um, a really horrible leader skill, tech type attack plus 25%. He was one of the originals. Huge damage and special skill isn't horrible. A recover 25% of damage dealt as HP when key meter is 8 or more. So <laughs> he's alright when he launches super attacks. I mean that's really what you, where you're going to recover your health from. Um, Link skills is Flea, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Kamehameha, Attack of the Clones, and The Wall Standing Tall. Now, for the sake of time, we're just going to skip his stats because we're going to go into his Doken version. He takes 21 medals, or 3 runs on the event, in order to Doken Awaken. He will Doken Awaken into the Elusive Beast Cell, first form. His leader skill is now Tech Type, Attack plus 50%. His super attack is Kamehameha, causes extreme damage, so he gets an extreme modifier now. Passive skill is Assimilated Energy. Recover 30% of damage dealt as health. Now, yeah, they removed the restriction of having to be key of 8 or more, but he's really not going to recover that much damage if he's not doing a super attack anyway. So, uh, Link skills are Flea, Messenger from the Future, Attack of the Clones, Kamehameha, Big Bad Bosses, Formidable Enemy, and Wall Standing Tall. So now he has a Formidable Enemy Link skill. So he could technically link with the Agility Cell if he really wanted to. They'd be pretty good Link buddies. His max stats are... HP of 7127, attack of 6403, and defense of 4803. So honestly, he isn't that great of a character, but you know what? Hey, he has a Doken Awakening, and if you could utilize him, utilize him. Uh, the next card we're going to talk about is True Might Android number 17. Um, he causes it. He currently causes extreme damage to the enemy. He weakens regeneration and changes agility orbs to rainbow orbs, so he is a key orb manipulator. So is the Android 18 we're going to be talking about. His current link skills are Infinite Energy, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Innocence, Infighter, Soul vs. Soul, and Fear and Faith. He token awakens with 35 medals or 5 runs on the event into Condensed Power Android 17. And he has a leader skill of Technique, Intelligence, and Strength Type Key plus 3, HP Attack, and Defense plus 20%. So he is actually a mini god lead for Technique, Intelligence, and Strength Types. Um, Definitely utilize him. If you have him, I highly recommend Doken Awakening him. He now also causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. A greatly lower defense isn't that awesome, but it's something it's it's something that's decent and he might come he might do well for you on the physical Broly event. Also, I did want to state before you Doken Awaken him, you technically can raise his super attack level. So on the, the banner cards, you know we all get angry when we get those androids, but those SR androids, when you get them, like just the st standard Android 17, if you awaken them, Z awaken them to their SSR form, it's a 50% chance for a super attack buff. Currently, I have him and the Android 18 I'm going to go over at Super Attack 10 because of this. Yes, it's a grind, it costs metals, it costs any in order to Doken Awaken them, but in the end, it's kind of worth it, especially with these Doken Awakenings. Supreme damage with a su at Super Attack 10 is very good. Um, especially if you're just starting out, and he has the uh, key orb manipulation skill and weak hit regeneration without a passive of attack plus 40%. In terms of a unit, he is definitely not a, a, a great unit, but he is definitely not a bad unit. I'd say an above average unit in terms of what he can do. He also has infinite energy, android assault, twin terrors, the innocent soul versus soul, fear and faith, and fierce battle. So he actually isn't that bad to run on a villain's team either. So he has the Fierce Battle link, so you will get off with all the Doken exclusives. Uh, the Fear and Faith link, which is really good for a villain's team. And he has Soul vs. Soul, which means if you Doken Awaken him when you're going away from the, well, when you're fighting on this event, he will weaken Regeneration of Cell. He also has a couple other uh, those link skills that are not really as relevant, but it's alright. Max stats are HP of 9529, that's pretty decent for HP. Attack of 8031, and Defense of 4731. 
Um, the next one we're going to talk about is the Flawless Combat Android number 18. Her current leader skill is Tech, Intelligence, and Strength Type, HP and Attack plus 20%. Her super attack is Sadistic Dance, causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Despair's Grin, weakens regeneration and changes intel uh, rainbow orbs to intelligence orbs. Uh, her link skills are Infinite Energy, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, The Innocence, Battlefield Diva, and Soul vs. Soul, and Nightmare. So that Nightmare link, there you go, another another uh, villain link. Um, she costs, she requires 35 medals in order to Doku Awaken, so that is another 5 runs. Uh, she Doku Awakens into Unimaginable Skill Android 18. Her, now, her leader skill is now Intelligence, Technique, and Strength Types. Key plus 2 HP and Attack and Defense plus 30%. Uh, that's another good leader ability. I prefer the Key plus 3 and the 20 stack buff across the board. But you know what, you're getting a 30% stack with that key lead, that is definitely not that bad. Her super attack is Sadistic Dance, causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. So another one that greatly lowers defense, she'll do good on the Broly event. Maybe not specifically um, in terms of damage output, but she'll at least make him harmable. Her passive skill is uh, Protruding Endurance, weakens regeneration and changes uh, rainbow key to intelligence key. Um, attack and defense is plus 30%. Uh, Link skills is Infinite Energy, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Battlefield Diva, Soul vs. Soul, Nightmare, and Fierce Battle. So another one good for the villains team with that Fierce Battle Link as well. Her max stats are HP of 9907, not bad at all. Attack of 7805, and defense of 4826. The next one, and this is the one we're really all, we've all been waiting for. Saiyan Spirit, Super Saiyan 2, Gohan Youth. His original ability was agility technique and strength type hp and attack plus 20 percent now looking back on it that was actually a pretty damn decent leader ability assuming you had good key links his super attack was father son kamehameha causes supreme damage to the enemy passive skill is furious awakening attack plus 30 percent at start of turn link skill was golden warrior saiyan warrior race super saiyan kamehameha and soul versus soul his max stats are hp of 75 79 attack of 75 97 and defense of 34 70. He requires only 35 medals to Doken Awaken, and let me tell you, he is worth Doken Awakening. Out of everyone on this event, I would say that this one is the number one card, even over the cell that I'm about to go over, to Doken Awaken. Now let's talk about his Doken Awakening. He Doken Awakens into Striking in Harmony, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth. His leader skill is all types HP and attack plus 30%. Super attack is Father Son Kamehameha, causes immense damage to the enemy, that's right guys. He has an immense damage modifier now. His passive skill, powers combined, key plus 3 and attack plus 70% at the start of turn. So technically he gets off super attacks at super atta or at uh, uh, key level 9. So when he, his key meter is at 9, he will definitely get a super attack off. And he has an attack plus 70% buff. He is someone you want on your team. You also want to get him up to super attack 10 if you can. Um, Elder Kai's, whatever you have to get him up to that level, I would recommend doing it. Um, I have been actually feeding the agility Super Saiyan 2 Gohans into him when I get them. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Soul vs. Soul. They made him so good. He is good on a Heroes team. He is good on a Mono Strength Heroes team, or just a Mono Strength team in general. Um, his max stats are now HP of 8745, Attack of 8610, and Defense of 4025. The only flaw to him is his leader ability, and you're not using him for a leader. So overall, he is an amazing card. He, this is why everyone's waiting. The only other thing that kind of stinks is he only has a 12 key multiplier of 130%, but with an immense damage modifier and a 70% uh, passive skill, on top of uh, the Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, per and the Fierce Battle Links, uh, one of those guys was uh, key, I know that. But with all those links, he definitely is a super viable unit. And last but not least, the card itself, the one that the event is all about. Systematic Victory Perfect Stell. His leader skill off the bat is Strength Type, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 70%. His super attack, is, he has two of them, Solar Kamehameha at 10 and 12 key, and Self Destruction at 11 key. So the Solar Kamehameha causes immense damage to the enemy and raises attack and defense, and the Self Destruction causes mass damage, which is an extreme damage multiplier, to all enemies and raises attack and defense. His passive skill, Revealed Power, attack plus 80% at the start of turn. His link skills are Revival, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Kamehameha, Nightmare, and Shocking Speed. His max stats are HP of 7960, Attack of 7877, and Defense of 4272. He Doken Awakens and requires 77 medals in order to Doken Awaken. That is 11 runs on the event. 
He Doken awakens into Welcome to Hell Perfect Cell. <laughs> I love that run. Uh, leader skill is Strength Type, HP Attack, and Defense plus 100%. So yes, he's our 100% leader. Super Attack is Solar Command. Oh, well, we already went over the Super Attack information. It's too long. Um, passive skill is End of the Game. Attack plus 100% at the start of turn. So he has Immense Damage Modifier at 12 key and 100% Attack Buff on his passive. Insane. His link skills are Revival, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Kamehameha, Nightmare, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. His max stats are HP of 95-24, Attack of 88-26, and Defense of 50-64. Now, he also has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. The one thing why people keep on saying that they're not going to pull for them, I know I hear a lot of them, you might be one. If you do not know why, this is why. Because it is currently the beginning of June. Cell is coming out now. He will have a runtime period of maybe at most two and a half to three weeks before the Super Saiyan 4s come out. Maybe a month at most. Then the Super Saiyan 4 come out. We will not have that Janemba banner for a very long time. People, no one will, at least in my opinion, I mean, we do have that LR Broly so he can be put on an LR Broly team. That might make him a little bit more viable. But he will not be as viable when the Super Saiyan 4s come out because that's what everyone will be running. That's going to be the new shiny banner. If you have a strength Super Saiyan 4 Goku, you're going to be wanting to run the hero strength team. Um, that's why there no one's pulling for him. I don't recommend pulling for this card, but I do recommend running the event for all of those medals that I had mentioned. Um, go ahead and run for that. Personally, I, I'm really just going to be focusing on the an two androids and the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Um, if I have nothing to do and I have a whole bunch of, uh, you know, uh, stamina, I will probably just run it just to get the additional medals up until I'm ready to Doken Awaken whatever one I get. But hey guys, that is the review of all of the Doken Awakenings that are currently available for this event. Um, let me know if you're going to be pulling on this. Uh, I personally am not. I don't recommend that you do. But hey, you know what? If you do, if you want to sell, good luck. I really hope you grab it. Thank you for taking the time to come and watch my video. You all have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.